Another week, another Democratic presidential debate, and the stakes keep climbing. Frontrunner Bernie Sanders and Mike Bloomberg likely going to become targets tonight. That's kind of the estimation on the CBS News hosted and moderated debate. Political reporter Jack Fink in studio with a look ahead to, I, I think so far, everybody agrees, biggest night ahead, right? Absolutely. You may want to get your boxing gloves out tonight <laughs> because this right. could be brutal. During the past several debates, some of the Democratic candidates challenged Bernie Sanders, but not very aggressively. Analysts, though, expect Sanders to be in the crosshairs tonight, especially because of his recent positive comments about former Cuban dictator Fidel Castro. We've already seen the Joe Biden and Pete Buttigieg campaigns go after Sanders, not only attacking his comments about Castro, but also his proposed costly programs. Sanders has laid out trillions of dollars in spending and taxes and fees to pay for it. The Biden campaign described the costs as back of the napkin math. After Sanders won the Nevada caucus handily, analysts say if the candidates want to blunt his momentum and keep him from winning South Carolina, Texas, and the other Super Tuesday states, they need to attack him tonight. Nancy Bosker, director of the Center for Women in Politics and Public Policy at Texas Women's University, says some Democrats worry President Trump will be reelected if Democrats nominate Sanders. He continues to be the king. And you better knock off the king, especially if you think you're going to have a chance at beating Donald Trump in November. And Mike Bloomberg faces another big test tonight. Can he come back after last week's widely criticized performance? He will likely be attacked again. The question is how he handles it and will he be able to punch back? And if he does poorly tonight, it could hurt him here in Texas and really on all the states. So Super Tuesday a week away, I'm thinking Iowa is now such a distant memory yeah. and the debacle and everything, but uh, Super Tuesday a week away, how are things shaping up in our state, what we care about? Well, the polls show a very tight race here in Texas. And if you look at the real clear politics average, it shows Sanders in the lead with just over 22%, Biden right behind him at nearly 21%, Elizabeth Warren in third, followed closely by Bloomberg, then Buttigieg, and Amy Klobuchar. Bloomberg was supposed to hold a rally in Fort Worth tomorrow night, and it has not been rescheduled yet. Warren will be holding a rally in San Antonio on Thursday, and Buttigieg will be campaigning in Dallas on Sunday night. And no word yet on where Biden's going to be in Texas, if at all. We know you will tell us if you find out right Absolutely. away. Absolutely. Thank you, Jack.